This video app review is brought to you by the iPhoneAppReview.com. What's up, everybody? This is Luke Patrick with the iPhoneAppReview.com. We're slinging out yet another iPhone video review today, this time looking at a game for iOS. And this is actually a universal offering in the App Store, so this is compatible with both your iPhone and your iPad, if that's how you want to swing it. It looks great on both devices, and the app uh, in question here is obviously Mad Rush. This takes a bit of some time to, uh, on, on the front load, so we've already booted this up. Usually we like to show you the springboard and how it uh, actually loads. This one takes a bit of time, so that's why we're already here at the main menu. We're going to show you the settings really quick. We do have sound and uh, effects turned off because, well, it's easier to hear us and we're just kind of uh, narcissistic like that. As you can see by this little icon right there, this does come with Game Center integration, including leaderboards and achievements. So if you're an achievement hound like us, you'll have a lot of fun here. There's also an instruction manual right here if you want to check this out. Uh, we aren't actually going to flick through this because that's kind of my job to tell you how this works but it's here if you need a, a little bit of help on the front end. It's worth noting that right there you saw I hit the button and it took just a second. This game can be kind of laggy occasionally, uh, which is a bit of a downside, but not that big of a deal breaker because it's not that frequent, and it's usually not that bad. There's also an I button here to get a little bit more information about the developers, but we're going to skip that because you're probably here just to see the gameplay. If we don't blame you, so we're going to go ahead and jump straight into this. This game is a uh, kind of a unique pastiche of several different genres, but most notably tunnel racing. Um, if you're any kind of a uh, tunnel racing fan, you'll find a lot to love here in Mad Rush, and we'll explain how it's similar by just going ahead and uh, diving into one of the first few uh, levels that we've completed here. We're a big fan of this Nitro game mode, and it's worth noting that each of the ten levels included, as you can see these levels are rotated through by a competitor. Each one features a single opponent that you must beat in three different races. Each of these three different races is a style of game uh, gameplay in and of itself. You've got a diehard kind of arcade mode. You've got a slalom, which is exactly what it sounds like, slaloming back and forth. You've also got a speed-based Nitro setting, which is our favorite. Obviously, it's the one we did the best at here. And uh, it's just downright fun. All of them are great, but you are going to have to beat each opponent in all three before you're cleared on to the next level. As you complete levels, you're given points which can be redeemed for upgrades, which you can see are placed along the top that you can purchase once you've completed each stage. We're going to go ahead and show you what the gameplay looks like. It's worth noting here that uh, the load times between levels is kind of a drag, but again, not a total deal breaker. As we said, this game is most similar to uh, tunnel racing in the sense of you're going in this kind of semi-top-down perspective and avoiding obstacles as you go. Uh, this is controlled, of course, by the accelerometer, um, which is uh, keeping me from getting into my little lane there. Uh, we would have liked to have seen a joystick control. Then again, the accelerometer controls here are pretty excellent. Uh, we had no complaints with them. They worked excellently, though uh, I guess the calibration might have been nice, but then again, you can't have everything, and we didn't have any issues with it, really. It's just sort of an aesthetic thing. But that's how this game is controlled, and in this mode, the idea is to stay in the lane and then beat your opponent, which I'm doing terribly at because I'm trying to focus on this review, which I'm going to stop. As you go along, you encounter new enemies and new obstacles, the extra things on the course that will try to prevent you from winning. Uh, so in that sense, there's a lot of innovation. We do want to point out right now that the graphics are absolutely fantastic. We were a huge fan of this cartoony kind of style. It reminds us a lot of a uh, desktop MMORPG that we're fans of. I don't know if you guys are or not, but it's called Dofus, and it looks a lot like this. So this sort of a French-Japanese style is what it reminds us a lot of, and we absolutely love it. The graphics in-game, too, are excellent. They look crisp on both the iPhone's Retina display and on the iPad. Uh, there's also an excellent multiplayer mode that's coming soon, uh, which is a bit of a drag because this app is uh, perfectly suited for multiplayer. Uh, you could easily hook up with a buddy and then just blast through it, uh, which would be great. Sadly, it's not here just yet. Uh, the only other thing we have uh, as far as concerns about this app is the fact that it's kind of repetitive. You go through all ten levels performing the same functions, that is, beating each opponent in all three game modes. Uh, if that's enough to keep your interest, if you're really into this adrenaline-pumping kind of racing style, then go for it. Uh, you know, this app is only a dollar in the App Store, so you're not going to bust the bank to give it a test drive. Uh, but we do have some uh, some fears that it might get repetitive as you go along. Then again, there is the upgrade system to keep the ball rolling. Whether or not that's enough drive remains to be seen. But as we said, it's only a dollar in the App Store. So at the end of the day, we're going to give Mad Rush a solid 4 out of 5 star rating from us here at the iPhoneAppReview.com. Like we said, it's a dollar, it's a lot of fun, and if you're any kind of a tunnel racing fan, you'll, uh, you'll instantly love this app. So with that in mind, Mad Rush gets a 4 out of 5 star rating, and that's pretty much all we have to say about it. 
At this point, I just want to thank you guys for tuning in and suggest that you check out the rest of the videos we have on our YouTube channel. If you want to hear my voice, that's the place to go. Or if you want to read our written reviews, you can go to the iPhoneAppReview.com. We've got a bunch of content posted to both places, and we're always pumping out new uh, new editions as well, so check back with some frequency. In the meantime, I'm going to be signing out, so I'll check you guys later. Bye.